So these are the two. I am enough and I'm lovable. So every client that I work with from 60 to 11, if I drill down on what their greatest issues are, why they're coming to therapy in the first place, the stuff we're constantly talking about, it all comes down to these two. I'm not sure I'm enough. Smart enough, pretty enough, rich enough, thin enough, good enough, enough. And some fit enough, like I should be doing this with my career, that's all the shoulds, and I should be doing this and I should be doing that. And then I'm lovable. I don't think I'm worthy because I don't have this stuff. I, I'm just, I don't think anyone loves me. I don't think anyone cares about me. If I died, I don't think anyone really miss me. That kind of stuff. And when we're depositing in our kids' buckets, so this is what I want, this is why I do them as buckets. I want you to visualize each of your kids that you work with, and adults really, have these two buckets. I am enough and I am lovable. And they're just walking through life with their two buckets. And really, it's, it's more of a question. Am I enough? Am I lovable? That's what all of us are wondering deep down, but especially our children, because they're little and they're working it out. They're working out their worth and value. So if when we're with our kids, we can constantly be making deposits into those, you're enough, you're lovable, you're enough, you're lovable, you're enough, you're lovable. When you do that and you make enough deposits, then you end up with this. So when, whenever clients come to me and say, I'd love you to help me with my self-esteem or my confidence, this is often where I start. Because confidence and self-esteem is not something you're born with. Everyone thinks that. It's a, it's a skill. And it's dependent upon these. Because what I could also change this to is self-esteem and confidence. So I'm tipping. If you have low self-esteem and confidence, right, so I am not OK, your childhood involved a lot of not getting your buckets filled. And this, this doesn't necessarily have to be the parents. Because you guys know. So I hear these stories all the time. It's not necessarily your parents. It's that jerk coach who said, um, what's wrong with you? Everyone else can make that shot and you can't. A nice shaming message of you suck, right? And what are those, communica those um, shamey communications um, explaining to you? You're not enough. And you're not lovable with that test score or you missed the goal or whatever. So that's why it's so important for us, but especially you guys, because you guys are catching the kids at a really vulnerable time. <clears throat> you know, three to six, they are tired. They just want to go home. They might have a really crappy family life. You guys might be their only cool adult. And I know you guys know this because you've met some of the parents and you've seen this and you know I'm probably the only safe person in this child's life. That's powerful. You guys have a really cool privilege and a really cool opportunity to impact kids that maybe don't have anyone else to talk to. So if you can constantly be doing this, then you're sending them the message that you are okay and you are enough. 